drawing electrostatic forces let's start with a very simple example say you have two charges negative q1 and q2 and you have to find the force on q1 due to q2 to do this the first step is to draw a line joining q1 and q2 the force is going to lie along the line that joins these two charges the magnitude of the force will be given by coulomb's law this is f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square over here we are going to draw the force vector at the charge negative q1 because that is the charge which is experiencing the force force on this charge is due to the other charge q2 so we can call it as the charge which is causing the force now since these two charges have an opposite sign the force is going to be an attractive force and the arrow has to be drawn pointing towards the other charge next let's take a slightly more difficult case where instead of two charges we have three charges here we have to draw the force on q3 due to q1 and q2 so we'll take one charge at a time and repeat the same process that we used for finding the direction of the force due to two charges so now q3 is our particle of concern so let us take the force on q3 due to q1 the force on q3 due to q1 will once again lie along the line joining q1 and q3 since this is a repulsive force when we draw the arrow at q3 the arrow has to be drawn away from q3 now you look at charge q2 and draw the force vector for q2 and q3 once again this arrow will lie along the line joining the two charges since the force is an attractive force the vector at q3 points towards q2 to find the total force on q3 we have to take the vector sum of f13 and f23 remember the magnitude of these forces will be found using coulomb's law but we have drawn the electrostatic force vectors using coulomb's law where we have said that the force acts along the line joining the two charges and the direction of the arrow depends on whether the force is attractive or repulsive